Hey guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead and I have done my weekly sale ad shopping and come home with some good good deals and I was going to share them with you today. So what I do is I study the sale ads each week and I go to the stores and I only buy the best of the best deals. Sorry, I've got a three-year-old snacking on an apple and about to knock down the milk and pails back here. So disaster has been averted. It would have been a clanging, lovely noise. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Anna's taking care of Rebecca back there. So I study the sale ads and I go in and I only buy the best of the best deals, what they call the loss leaders that are in the sales each week. I do budget $1,100 a month for our family of nine. So that breaks down to about $122 per person per month for all the food that we get from the grocery store and household supplies like toilet paper, aluminum foil, you know, all that kind of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we'll go through all the items here on the table that I was able to pick up this week. I did go to 10 Box, Aldi, Kroger, and Menards got groceries at a home improvement store how about that and found some great deals so I'm going to share those with you today too here we go okay I feel like in all the videos that I make nowadays I always have to excuse the little peeping chirping noises of little birdies last time it was chicks and those chicks have gotten bigger so they've been moved to a bigger pen and now we have little ducklings out here in this broody pen so if you hear noises it's these little ones here. They're a lot of fun to watch. We even have more hatching right now. So hopefully we will add some more to this little brooder here in the next several hours. Okay, here are the deals that I got this week. We're gonna start down here at the end of the table at 10 box. So 10 box right here is a local chain of grocery stores in our area. Uh, they put out the sale ad every Wednesday and I only go in to buy the deals in the sale ad. I don't buy regular priced items off the shelf in their store. All the sales that I'm gonna show you here um, on the table that are in the sale ads, the prices are good through Tuesday, April 23rd. So if your area has the same sales as I do, make sure you get them before they expire. So opening this up, what caught my eye this week the uh, beef chuck roast here, $3.97 a pound. 10 bucks adds a 10% upcharge at the end onto your receipt. Even with that 10% upcharge in there, this is still a great sale. At Walmart, you're gonna be paying $7.47 for some chuck roast. I did not pick it up. Um, I'm having to watch the budget this month and uh, we're good on beef right now. So I did pass up this deal. I did take advantage of the tomato deal this week, 88 cents a pound for the tomatoes on the vine. At Walmart, those would be $1.98 a pound. So I did pick up these. The selection was okay. Um, I've seen better in the past, but I did go ahead and get these. They don't last as long as the Romas. So I don't get quite as much as I would have if they would have been Roma tomatoes. On the back side, Green cabbage, 44 cents a pound. That's a good deal compared to Walmart, which Walmart actually has theirs marked down too at 68 cents a pound. I'm pretty sure when I went into Aldi, they were at, I wanna say 85 cents a pound at Aldi. So I've got two big, massive heads of cauliflower here, or cabbage, green cabbage here. And uh, I recently made a cabbage soup that our family just loves. And I'll probably make that again soon because everybody really did enjoy that. And let's see, the chicken drumsticks, 72 cents a pound. Compared to Walmart, it's gonna be $1.19 a pound for those. If you're on a pretty strict budget and you need to buy some protein, some of the cheapest things I'm, I found that you could go ahead and get are chicken drumsticks. But what's even cheaper are chicken leg quarters. So if you can get those, that can really stretch your budget and still allow you to keep meat in your menu. And I got two. This is what we'll make to um, feed our family for a meal with a little bit of leftovers. This is just under 10 pounds. 
And these are really nice in, there's some crock pot dishes that we use these in. So I do like to keep a stash of frozen drumsticks in the freezer. The last item at 10 bucks was the 80% ground beef. This week they have it for $2.98 a pound. And at Walmart, you would be buying it for $3.99 a pound. I did forget to mention at the end of this video, we are going to go through and see if I had bought all the items on this table at Walmart. Just regular price at Walmart. What would I have spent? And we're going to do a price comparison to see what I did spend by utilizing the sale ads compared to those Walmart prices. So that is planned as well. My grand total at 10 bucks came to $16.27, and that is including that 10% upcharge. So next, we'll move on to Aldi. All right, Aldi was next, and I will say I wasn't too impressed. Oh, what's that? What'd you get? Eggs. She went collecting eggs for us. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't too impressed with Aldi's sale ad this week. There really is just one item on there that caught my eye and that the little mini cucumbers on there, they have their 16 ounce bags for $1.89 and as a comparison at Walmart, it'd be $1.97. So we grow our own cucumbers you know, through the summer. I don't typically keep them on my shopping list, but it's a good deal. So I did go ahead and get some of these. And these will just be snacked on. Like when we have fried eggs in the morning, we'll just make little rounds of cucumbers as a side. Uh, maybe put them on some salads. We'll just enjoy these while they're on sale. We'll work them into the menu. So I did get three of those. Um, oh, I also did want to point out in the sale ad, they do have their strawberries on sale uh, for $1.99 a pound. Walmart has them beat. So you can buy the two pound container at Walmart and pay $1.87 a pound there. So go ahead and skip this if you have a Walmart that uh, you can get the good deal. I did pick up regular price items though. So we had a church gathering planned that I bought these things for. Um, that gathering has been canceled, but these will still be used. So these are not gonna go to waste. I was going to make a big batch of guacamole. I like to get avocados when they are on sale, and none were on sale this week. So I did pay regular price for these bags, but um, like I said, they will be enjoyed. Same thing with the sour cream. Um, I was going to make a Mexican dip, and um, we make our own sour cream out of our cow's cream. For our family but I always I tend to buy store stuff when I'm serving it to other people just because just because <laughs> so um, but we will still use this up it will still be enjoyed same thing with the tortilla chips my best price is through Sam's Club uh, getting the big massive bags but since we were going to be um, at someone else's home I was just going to take these two but again, they will be used up, so this is not a big deal at all. So I had a very small Aldi pickup this week, and let me find my receipt here. Grand total came to $21.12 for these items at Aldi. And next we'll go to Kroger. Kroger makes me happy. Okay, so I say Kroger makes me happy, but this is the second week in a row they have not had paper sale ads. So I do not have a paper sale ad to show you like I did at the other stores, but I do have the sales written down here on my paper, and we'll just go over those real quickly here. Again, two times the fuel points um, if you're doing your shopping this weekend. So clip that digital coupon and if you shop on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you'll get double the fuel points. The apples. Okay, apples are on sale. It would be the Cosmic Crisp or the Pink Lady Apples on sale for 99 cents a pound. Uh, no coupon to clip, no minimum, no limit. Just get as much as you need. I think in this bag, I got around 10 pounds worth of apples here. And uh, we'll just snack on these this week so 99 cents a pound for those um they do have mandarin oranges on sale and i was going to get some but mine was out of stock they have the three pound bags of the mandarins for 2.99 
It is a digital coupon, so there is a limit of five. They also have their Kroger coffee on sale this week. $4.99 per canister. Uh, clip that digital coupon to get the deal. Limit of five. And as a tip, check the ounces in the canister and get the canisters with the largest number of ounces in it because then you're getting the best bang for your buck on that sale. Uh, for me, it's the blue canister that kind of looks like the Maxwell House, but generic version. Uh, four times the fuel points on gift cards with a digital coupon that you need to clip, and that is going on till April 23rd. So gift cards for restaurants or stores or Amazon, now is the time to get those if you need those for gifts or for your own use. And then, okay, I'm going to point this out. I had a coupon for, you say, $5 if you buy $25 in the produce department. And that comes into play on my receipt this week because between the apples, the salads, and the bananas, I hit that $25 mark. So I got an additional $5 off my receipt this week. So... What I did, um, if you've been watching my videos, you know I always check the salad section when I go in and I look for the reduced sticker salads. And this week they had three of this chopped fiesta type and two of the Mexican Caesar salad, which we've never tried before, but I'm sure we'll like it. So I picked those up. I always check the produce department. At the end of the department, they had a whole rolling tub again of marked down bananas. And if you saw last week's video, I stocked up on these and we have made banana chips out of those, dehydrated them in our Excalibur dehydrator. But the children, I think, ate about half of what came out of the dehydrator. So we're gonna make some more. These are gonna go in the dehydrator this afternoon and uh, we will thoroughly enjoy those. So check your produce department for this. And looky there. The clearance section in my Kroger is in the housewares department and you never know what you're gonna find. They had several boxes of these and each of these was 30 cents each for the candies. So I did go ahead and stock up. I got 30 of the little chocolate Reese's eggs and the plan for these, I think Sean will probably take some of those to work with him. And the remainder is going in our Sorry guys, I had to stop real quick and get a drink. So um, Sean's gonna take some of these to work and the rest are going in a drawer that we keep for snacks. And those are snacks that we take on the road with us whenever we uh, just are away from home. And this keeps us from going through a drive-through or a convenience store if we pack little snacks along with us. So that's what those will be for. My grand total at Kroger. $33.27, which I don't think is too bad of a deal. And it says down here at the bottom, it might be hard for you all to read. I think, does it say 61%? What does that say? I think it says a 61% savings. Now I can barely read it, but that's good. <laughs> that makes me so happy to have the savings on there. I do want to point out too, I haven't done this in several weeks now. Um, at the bottom of your Kroger receipt, check that. If you do a survey, you get 50 more fuel points just for doing that. So make sure to fill that out. And I like seeing here the card savings. So far here in April, I'm up to $633 of savings so far just by doing these sales. So. I think that is just awesome. And we're just gonna go right on into Menards. Okay, so I was going into Menards anyway to get some things for the garden. Uh, we needed some potting soil and I bought some more blueberry plants because we're expanding our blueberry patch and uh, just looking for garden things. So I went through the food section because several of you have commented check out Menards. Sometimes they have some really good sales. And a few weeks back, I was able to get a year's worth of white vinegar there at a great sale. So I just strolled through the food section. And the first thing I found were the cornflakes here. And this is a Malto Meal brand of cornflakes. 
they were, let's see, what were they? $1.67 per box, and there are 18 ounces in each box. And then they also have their 11% rebate, which we're doing those rebates all the time nowadays with the work on the summer kitchen. So I'm peeking, I'm peeking in there at those girls. They're having their snacks. <laughs> I see you in there. <laughs> That's what's keeping Rebecca quiet while I'm doing the video here. So um, when I did the math, the sale price divided by the 18 ounces, this was right at about nine cents per ounce, which is a great deal for cereal. Um, as a comparison at Aldi, I'd be paying 12 cents per ounce for cornflakes. So this will just be eaten with uh, milk from Daisy or Cow, or I can make those little cornflake peanut butter treats and uh, those will be enjoyed. So I did get those and then the maple syrup. So if you've been watching, you know, Sam's Club is my place that I always, always, for years now, have bought our maple syrup at Sam's Club. And I believe it's about $12.98 per bottle at Sam's. And let's see, Menards had it on sale for $13.47, but when you de deduct the 11% rebate, it ends up beating the Sam's Club price. So I did go ahead and pick these up, and these will just go on the shelf with the rest of my Sam's Club things. So my food total at Menards came to $49.90. All right, guys, let's head over here and look at my totals for the week. So, scoot that out of the way here. Um, I have written down the items that I purchased my sale price that I paid, and then what the equivalent at Walmart would cost. So uh, the top three items here are my 10 box items, and I have added the 10% upcharge into my price that I paid there. So those chicken drumsticks, I paid $7.45. At Walmart, it would have been $11.19. The green cabbage, I paid $4.73 on sale, would have been $6.64 at Walmart. The tomatoes on the vine, I paid $3.17, and at Walmart would have been $6.47. Then at Aldi, I paid regular price at Aldi for those bagged avocados, so $8.67, and Walmart would have been $8.88, so a little bit higher at Walmart. Uh, the mini cucumbers, I paid $5.67, Walmart would be $5.91. The sour cream, again, this regular price item at Aldi was $1.69. Walmart would be $1.97. Uh, the tortilla chips, I paid $3.90. Walmart would have been $3.96. And then at Kroger, the pink lady apples that were on sale, I paid $10.02. At Walmart, they'd be $1.33 a pound instead of the $0.99 cent sale price. So Walmart would have been $13.46. Those Reese's eggs, those little markdown clearance things, I paid 30 cents each, so $9. And at Walmart would have been $21.53 for that amount. Here, let me pause and go change the battery out real quick. All right, new battery. So we did the Reese's, the bananas, the markdown bananas, I paid $8.21. Walmart price would have been $9.90. Those salad kits are always a super good deal. At Kroger, I paid $8.97 for the five of them. And at Walmart, it would have been $19.90. So that is a good deal. And this is what we'll use these for lunches um, here in the next day or so. We'll just add some canned chicken to it. And uh, that'll be a really good lunch. Okay, at Menards, those cornflake boxes, I paid $5.95, and at Walmart, it'd be $8.96, and the maple syrup. Uh, Menards, I ended up paying $35.96, and at Walmart, that would have been $47.94. So, but like I said, I never get it at Walmart. Sam's Club is my price to beat unless I can find, you know, a good sale like I did at Menards. So, my totals. Get rid of that. I paid $133.39 out of pocket, 
And at Walmart, it would have been 166.71, which is a difference of $53.32. And I will say, I feel like on a fairly regular basis, I end up with a savings around $50, just for a week's worth. I mean, this is considered a small haul for our family of nine. Uh, but to be able to save $50 on this size haul is fairly consistent. So, and do that over the course of a month, you know, you've got a $200 savings in your grocery budget doing it this way. So, um, now we're going to sit down with the clipboard and go over where do I stand in that $1,100 a month grocery budget. Now that we've made a couple deductions out of it with the once a month stock up, and this first, first weekly sale ad video, what do I have left to get us through the end of the month? Okay, so I guess I have to correct that. I said to get us through the end of the month. Technically, we don't go month to month. It's just pay period to pay period. So my husband gets paid on the 10th of each month. So we actually have to make it through uh, with that $1,100 grocery budget until May 9th. So that is the end of our our uh, grocery budget timeline here. So got the clipboard, let's go over numbers here. Started with $1,100 and did the once a month grocery haul. There's a whole video on that where this table, plus we brought out another folding table <laughs> and set up a lot of stuff on it. Um, we did that deduction. I will have a link to that video in the description box below if you haven't seen it. It was a lot. So we deducted that, and then today's total. Um, well, first of all, after the once a month, I had left over $668.79, and today's total was $120.56, which now leaves me with $548.23. So what needs to come out of that between now and May 9th, let's see, I have three weeks of the weekly sale ads, so same thing as this, three more weeks of that, a Sam's Club haul, which I do plan to video, and an Azure Standard order. So that is what needs to be purchased, and that's what I'll take videos of as I make those purchases, and we'll see how the uh, numbers just get littler and littler with each, with each time. So I am gonna have to make some choices with things like me passing up the um, chuck roast at 10 box and things like that. And it's just, it's shopping strategically and using the money that I have, um, just making choices. You know, I chose candy treats for the family this week. And so I did get that un unexpectedly, but I passed up the uh, chuck roast. I made a choice and it just is what it is. So um, I'll just have to work with that and we will see what happens. Um, I think at this point, okay, so sometimes I take little videos and I don't really have a video to put it in. It's not long enough to warrant its own video, but it's something that I like and I want to share with you guys anyway. So. Several days ago, I did take some video. We were just relaxing around the house one afternoon and I got the camera out and thought everything is just so nice and pleasant. I want to record this. So I'm gonna have Sam put in those little snippets of video from a couple days ago and let you guys see that. You can enjoy it with me. And uh, then I'll be back to talk to you guys for just a second more. Feeling super peaceful outside and just wanted to bring you guys along with me for a little bit. I was sitting over here in my little glider chairs. <laughs> listening to the chickens. Drinking my fancy afternoon treat. That's my seat, girl. Oh. <laughs> Watching these two with their s'mores. Knock, knock, knock. 
She took my seat. This is my seat. Do you like your s'more? <laughs> is it good stuff? She said, I'm going to finish this one, and then I want another one. The weather is beautiful. Not funny. <laughs> Showing me all of her stunts. I can... She can hang from the tree. I can dangle and fall. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. Mama, if I hang from this thing... I don't think that will hold you, baby. <laughs> it's a middle one. Rebecca wanted to bring her cup outside like Mama. And you're going to sit it out there? Oh, you're going to come over here with me? You're the mommy one. Yes. <laughs> it looks like fun, baby. Is that? <laughs> Can I do it now? You sure, want to do it too? Do not drink my water. <laughs> do not drink my water, she says. Okay. Oh, can I push you? She says, no thank you. Whee! All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a good time hanging out with the kids that day and just resting. So, um, hope you enjoyed today's video. What's left for us today is we still need to make butter. I've got four quarts of cream from Daisy the Cow sitting here. I need to get eggs in a bucket for water glassing because I'm starting to, can you see them piling up back there behind me? I've gotta get those taken care of. I need to refill the water on the sweet potato starts. Those are back here. And I've got, where's it at? That big stock pot. I've got three small chickens boiling in there. So take the meat off the bone. We're having stir fry for supper tonight because I have some Chinese long beans in the freezer from this past year's garden, and I'm afraid they're gonna get freezer burnt. So that's what's for supper tonight, and we're using the chicken in that pot to go in the stir fry. So lots of things still to do, but I hope you guys have those sales and can take advantage of them and get some good deals. Let me know in the comments if you do, because I will smile. It will make me happy knowing that you guys are saving money. So um, make sure you give the thumbs up. That's helpful as well. Uh, double check that you are subscribed and then tell others about our family's channel. If you could share Ozark Family Homestead, it would help our channel grow and we would appreciate it. So I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Ozark.